Hi. I hope you enjoyed the first article on tips and hints for powders, capsules, tablets, suppositories, and sticks. In this issue, we will present some tips and hints for solutions, suspensions, emulsions, and lotions. You will notice that all these dosage forms are fluid or liquid, and they will flow. They will assume the shape of the container in which they are placed. Sometimes the container shape can affect the ease of mixing. Other factors that affect mixing include the viscosity and density of the ingredients. The more viscous, the more difficult to mix. Also, it is important that attention is paid to solubility and miscibility characteristics of the ingredients. When working with liquids, one has to be concerned with evaporation, spillage and wastage as well as cleanup. Some preparations are easier to clean up than others. Okay, let's get started. A solution is a homogeneous molecular dispersion of a solid in a solvent, or co-solvents. The dissolved material can be a solid, liquid or even a gas. Liquids are easy to incorporate if they are miscible. Solids must dissolve and the rate at which they dissolve, the dissolution rate, is often determined by their particle size. There are techniques that can be used to enhance the dissolution rate, including particle size reduction prior to dissolution. Once a drug is dissolved, one must be concerned about it precipitating or coming out of solution. Also, it is best to add a high viscosity liquid to a low viscosity liquid with stirring. Suspensions are liquid preparations that consist of solid particles dispersed throughout a liquid phase in which the particles are not soluble. Factors that must be considered include the vehicle or vehicles, particle size, settling rate and viscosity. Generally, the smaller the particle size the more stable the suspension. The viscosity can be adjusted to retard the rate at which the particles settle to the bottom. If the particles settle and form a compact, they may be difficult to redisperse. It is important to also be aware that some suspensions can be shaken but others may need to be stirred or gently agitated. Emulsions are two-phase systems in which one liquid is dispersed throughout another liquid in the form of small droplets. Emulsions can be difficult to prepare, as the tendency of the internal phase is to form larger globules and eventually separate from the external phase. This is minimized by obtaining a very fine dispersion of the internal phase, using an appropriate emulsifying agent, and even increasing the viscosity of the external phase. The new gel creams use this technique to form more stable emulsions. Emulsion formation requires an input of energy to shear the internal phase to a small globule size. Also, it is important to know when to shake and when to stir or gently agitate the emulsion. Lotions are fluid suspensions or emulsions applied to the surface of the skin. The discussions above apply to lotions depending upon the type of dosage form involved. The term lotion is also used in some cases to refer to a solution. In summary, these dosage forms must be formulated to maintain both physical and chemical stability of the preparation. It is important to know where the preservative will be in the preparation, that is, will it partition into the oil or aqueous phase? It needs to be in the aqueous phase to be most effective. Agitation methods are important, because, if the preparation is shaken and air is incorporated into it, then the administered dose may be too low. Last. It is important to document your tips and hints and to make them a part of your formulation record. See you next issue. Goodbye.